In this video, you're going to learn the intro to Faded by Alan Walker and how to use these ideas in your own playing. Welcome back to Butterfly Piano. I'm Ed and this is Piano Improvising for Beginners. This is what you're going to learn. The left hand is playing broken chords, one note at a time, in a classical style, like the music of Mozart. The chords are A minor, F, C, and G major, also known as the sixth chord because we're in the key of C major, one, two, three, four, five, six, there's the sixth chord, four chord, one chord and the five chord. This chord progression of six, four, one, five is very common and also found in Despacito by Luis Fonsi and Perfect by Ed Sheeran. The fingering for the left hand is five, one, three, one. And you do each chord twice. So you go into the F chord and you play that twice. Five, th one, three, one, five, one, three, one, five, one, three, one. And that's it. So you start in the A minor, and you go down to F. Stay relaxed, keep your shoulders relaxed, and keep your wrists relaxed. Every once in a while, every five or ten minutes or so, I want you to shake out your hands your wrists and your shoulders, just like this. If you ever wonder what to play in the right hand, start with the chord tones. These are the notes from the chord that you're playing. So I'll show you how to improvise using chord tones later in the video. The melody from Faded starts on the C, so here's middle C. We're gonna put our thumb on the C, and since the uh, first chord is A minor, that means that the first note in the right hand is starting on the third of the chord. So here's the first note of the chord, one, two, three. In fact, every time you're playing the right hand, when the chord changes, the right hand is playing the third of the chord. One, two, three. The third is the C. So we're starting on C, and we play it three times, and then we play the E, which is the fifth of the chord, and we do that with finger two. And then on the F chord, the right hand is playing the A with the pinky. We do that three times, and then we go down one note to the G. Okay, so the chord is F chord, and the third is the A. One, two, three. So the third note in the chord is the A, and your right hand, you're playing the third again. So we start with the C three times, and then the E once with finger two, and then we play the A three times with the pinky, and then down one note to the G. So the first half of this intro is your thumb on C, finger two on the E, and your pinky on the A, and we go down one note to the G. And then after that, for the C chord, we're playing the um, we're playing the E again four times, and then when we play the G chord, we play the thumb on the B, which is still the third. Okay, so for this point here, we're going to go one finger one, two two one. So our thumb is playing the B three times. But the fingering is one, two, two, one. Watch again. One, two, two, one. So watch the whole intro in the right hand. Starting with the thumb on the, the C, finger two on the E, and the pinky on the A. time. The 
E four times. And the fingering here is one, two, two, one. Listen again to the intro to Faded. So remember the chords are A minor, down to F, and the pinky up to the C, and then down to the G. Okay? Notice that when you're playing the F chord, after you play the thumb, your pinky is playing the same key, the C, because we're playing the C chord. So watch me go from the F chord to the C chord, just like that. So we're going thumb pinky, thumb pinky. Watch one more time. So it's going thumb pinky, thumb pinky. The thumb is in the F chord and the pinky is from the C chord. Okay, so our left hand is in A minor a minor chord and our right hand is starting on the the C finger 2 on the E finger 5 on the A so listen again to the intro to faded After you play the intro, start improvising in the right hand with chord tones. Remember that these are notes from the chord. So when you're playing A minor in the left hand, you can play the chord tones. You can improvise with any combination of A, C, E. And when you go to the F chord, you also play the chord tones, which are obviously F, A, C. And when you play the C chord, you play the chord tones. Same thing for G. So that's a very simple way of learning to improvise just using the chord tones. So watch me do that right now. This time I'm going to improvise in the right hand with only three notes. I'm going to be playing the C, the D, and the E. Okay, with fingers one, two, three. Because we're in the key of C, playing only the white keys, we're going to focus on the first three keys in the right hand from that scale. So I'm going to say, play the same chord progression of A minor, F, C, and G, with the same broken chords, the broken notes, and play just C, D, E. So that's another excellent idea, is just to choose two or three notes and fool around with the rhythms. Remember, you don't have to play constant notes. You can leave some silence in the right hand. like something you played, do it again, like this. Well, I'm not saying it's a masterpiece, but... Keep the left hand steady. right hand will improvise with the notes B, C, and G. So the thumb is on the B, second finger on the C, and the pinky is on the G, same left hand, and we're just going to fool around with those notes. Okay, so that's the seventh note in the scale. We're in the key of C, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The first note in the scale, and the fifth note in the scale.
finally watch me play any notes in the C major scale. Notice that I tuck my thumb under finger three, for example, or oh, you can also put your, your fingers over your thumb. Okay, this is called the thumb tuck, and this is why scale playing is so useful. It teaches you to easily move up and down the keyboard instead of staying in only one position. You can easily move up and down when you learn to put your fingers over your thumb and learn to put your thumb underneath. So I have a whole playlist series on scales. Be sure to check that out. I also get into improvising and intervals. So I think it's very useful. So check that out. And so I'm going to improvise again using the same chord progression, using the same left hand pattern, and I'm going to play any notes in the right hand, and just let's see what happens. In this video, you learn the intro to Faded by Alan Walker and how to use it in your own playing. Thank you so much for watching. If this has been useful, click on the like and subscribe. Share this with your family and friends. And I'll see you in the next video.